What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and this is my Global Road Outdoors Sidekick One Hard Shell Rooftop Tent. This goes for $2,450. We'll say $2,500. Hi guys, I'm Kara with Ozark Overland Adventures and this is my iCamper Sky Camp Mini 2.0. It's actually on sale for $3,300 right now. We wanted to come out here and compare these two tents and let you make the decision is an eye camper worth the premium price over a tent like the Global Road Outdoors? And full transparency. Um, if you've watched our channel and you've seen my other reviews and stuff, we are good friends with James, the owner of Global Road Outdoors. And eye camper did reach out to us and offered to send us this tent for free so that we could do this comparison. We will be completely honest. No one's paying us to do this. And we, we just want you to know what the difference is between them and which one is, is worth it over the other. We actually reached out to both James and we let the people at iCamper know. We're gonna be real here. So what we're gonna do is open each tent. Kara's gonna go through the details of the iCamper. I'm gonna go through the details of the Global Road Outdoors tent. And in the end, we'll let you make the decision is the price of the eye camper worth it over the more budget friendly price of the Global Road Outdoors tent? Let's do it. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by the Moore Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for overland adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade portable awning. Both tents look very similar. And in fact, they are the same size. They're both a full size bed once you get them opened. They both have windows on each side with the awnings that you can open up or you can close up if you want to. Um, they both have removable rain flies. I will say that my rainfly actually has an integrated window in the top to where you can actually see through it. Our windows are a little bit different in that aspect as I have a clear cover on my windows, not just the mesh. Yeah, they both have bug netting in there or a mesh to keep bugs out so you get the breeze. But yeah, hers has this cool clear plastic, almost like soft top material mm -hmm. uh, in there. Whereas on mine, it's the tent fabric and so yours you can see out of when you have your rain fly on you can't see out of it right at the top i have a top i have a top opening as well for ventilation but to see out i have to remove the rain fly yeah you can see the clouds and stuff all of it in it but if i want to sleep in mine blocks out more light it's true you've got open windows that you can't block but i can i can block them because i have a blocking layer too oh that's right you can close your your, yep. your outside windows. I can. But I can keep my windows up hmm. and still block out the light. But the, the, the clear windows in that is pretty cool. I will I say like our material is a little bit different. I think yours is a little bit thinner than what is on my eye camera. I think the quality is a little bit higher. They're, they're different materials. I think they're the same thickness. Um, this one is definitely a, a nice thick. I think it's 300 denier. I'm not sure what those technical terms are on. <laughs> I think that's what James told me. I think it's 300 denier. Um, and I think yours is actually the same thickness, but it's a lot softer. It is. It, it feels more premium. Yeah. And our mattresses are basically the same. I think ours, like as well as the material, it just feels a little bit more spurmer, maybe a little bit more premium. Yeah. I think they're both one and a half inch memory foam. Yeah. But I think yours is a little bit firmer memory foam. Yeah. Than just, mine is. Just feels a little bit quality or more. Yeah. But. Is that a word? Quality <laughs> Maybe it is now <laughs> quality year, um, but full transparency. I do not sleep with this mattress in this tent. She will not be sleeping with that mattress in her tent. I'm queen X bed. Even when I use that tent, I wanted an X bed. We both have, she has an X bed and inflatable air, inflatable memory foam air mattress. I have a knockoff X bed that I sleep in this. Both of those are better than the mattresses these come with. Both mattresses we're going to say pretty much suck. But three out of hers ten. may be three out of, three out of ten. But I mean, if you like a firm mattress, then it may be perfect for you. So we'll say I like your ladder better than my ladder 
because of I the way too. that it adjusts. I do too. Um, my ladder, all I have to do is push these in and I can take the whole thing up. It's very tall. Just like that. Yeah. Um, on hers, you have to actually do every single latch one at a time. You can't just do one latch and collapse it, which it's a lot. That's I don't annoying. Like it. That that is annoying. But I think aside from the latches, these ladders feel identical. And they look like they mount the same, so maybe I could just take his. Mm, no, yours definitely mount different. Yours, maybe uh, we could. Yours, yours mount differently. You I'm can sorry. figure out. Something. Nope. Nope. Mine, you're... <laughs> Maybe you can buy one separately. <laughs> Here's the thing, and just being real here, and the ladder is a good example. The eye camper, I mean, the, the materials in the eye camper are definitely higher quality. The, the quality of the shell, a little bit thicker. Um, I, I think the shell is just a little bit higher quality. The shell on this one is fantastic. And it's nice and thick, it doesn't warp at all. But you can just tell the shell on the eye camper is a step up. The tip material, a little bit higher quality than this one, though this one is excellent. Um, and honestly, I think that's where you have to kind of figure out, is it worth the cost? Yeah. The, what starts getting weird with the eye camper is they go, in some areas they go so far above just doing high quality for the sake of high quality and maybe even over engineering it to a bit. And the ladder is a good example. Good. This one, uh, this one just bolts on with, with just some simple bolts. They've got nylock nuts in there. It's not coming off. So you can replace just, it uh, if you just, to. just super simple. The eye camper has a pin with a C clip on it. And it's, I mean, it's, it's higher quality. But I don't know that that's necessary higher quality. You get what you pay for. I guess so. One thing that we both absolutely love about the eye camper, it serves no purpose in form or function other than it just looks so cool. Yeah. And that's the map on the I inside. I love the map. Insert the Dora on the map. On the map. <laughs> the map on the ins on the back wall, it just looks cool. so cool. Really cool. Um, I, as you can see, the eye camper. It has a lot more color, which I like. I don't. You got the brown, you got the gray, you got the red, and I, I just really like that. This is, is very beige. But um, I don't like the brown on the 2.0. I'm really glad they went to the black on the 3.0. I'm a little jealous of that, that black. Does look, that does look really it nice. It looks cleaner. But I just, I just love the little splash of colors and stuff, whereas this one is gray and a little bit of a taupe. Yeah. Um, I like to say so. that my red are the Rubicon accents. There you go. That, that works. <laughs> um, other things that, two other things that I just think are way over engineered on the eye camper. Can we talk about the latches? The latches. Oh. The latches on the eye camper are just annoying. Yeah. Absolutely annoying. There's nothing wrong. This one just goes very basic Velcro straps with good industrial strength Velcro and some rubber latching pieces to secure it. That are very, very solid. If I leave home without these keys, I can't get in my tent. Yeah, the eye camper, you have to use the keys to open the latches. You, yeah. you have to, which is just dumb. The only way. It's just dumb. Yeah. I mean, there, there are some things where the simple basic way is better than the fancy over-engineered way. Yeah. And that also goes into how this tent mounts to the rails. Now, iCamper does make a simple T-Track system. That costs extra. But the, the, the rails that come with this, or the, the mounting mechanisms that come with this, super high quality, super strong, but they're just way over complicated. And it made putting the, her tent on this rack a royal pain in my butt. Yeah. So another area where it's just over-engineered, but super high quality. One other thing that you can tell is higher quality on the eye camper are the, the poles. Uh, you can just tell they're a thicker material, they have more rigidity to them, and they're just better quality than these poles. Obviously these poles work and they've been working well for me for, for quite a while now, but those, they're just a little better. Yeah. I mean they just are. I, 
I don't know if they're a thousand dollars better, but they're better. Yeah. I will say there's one thing that I'm jealous of on yours. What? The lights. Oh yeah, I forgot I about the lights. I don't have any lights. I forgot about the lights. The Global Road Tent has a LED light strip on the inside yep. with a controller on the inside. And so you've got lights bottom. and there's lights across the bottom to light up this area. I don't got those. You don't have any lights. None. Like I gave her doesn't provide any lighting on that thing. They didn't even put lighting in the new 3.0. So for an extra thousand dollars, you don't get lights. I don't get lights. Um, other things, um, the Global Road Outdoors tent comes with uh, a boot bag over here. When you get in your tent, you can put your, your shoes here and not, uh, you know, have to get your tent dirty. That would um, be nice. Where's your boot bag? I don't have any boot bags. You don't have any boot bags? No, they're extra. How much extra? Those are $55 extra. So another 55 bucks for a boot bag. Yeah. Um, mine also has a gear bag. I'm not sure if that's for a pair or one. It's, it's for one. I think this it's is Because mine has a gear bag, so I can put, you know, all kinds of, you know, just toiletries or lights or, you know, Yeah, any, we use those for, any, like, things um, I want to reach down. What about, a, what about a gear bag? I, I don't have that either. That's $70 extra. So another $70 there. Yeah. Um, I don't like where this is going, y'all. For my $2,500, $2, mine comes with an insulation kit that I have used extensively this winter and it really makes a difference in how comfortable the tent was sleeping in it in the winter time. Where did yours come with an insulation kit? Have you seen my map? It's amazing. <laughs> the map is really nice. I don't have an insulation kit either. So the insulation is $270 extra. Extra. But I have a cool map. Extra, but you have a map. I have a map. Oh yeah. And mine comes with an awning kit. So I can attach this here and have a nice shaded rain protected awning out from my tent. Does yours have an awning? You can buy an awning separately for $350, but my rain fly, I can see through. <laughs> you can. Just saying. You can. So, I don't like this tally. <laughs> so, for $2,450, good quality tent, decent materials, um, boot bag, gear storage, insulation kit, awning, $2,450. Oh, and, in, and lighting. Oh, yeah. I have the eye camper. You do. It has red accents. It does. And it has a map. It does. And it has a see-through rain fly. It does. With fancy latches. High quality materials. Yep. So how much is yours with all that added in? It's about $4,050-ish. So we'll say $2,500, $4,050. But she bougie. So, um, is the eye camper very high quality premium tent? Yes, absolutely. Do you get more for your money with this tent? Yep. Yes, yep. absolutely. So we will. I mean, we're not making any judgments. We love the eye camper. I will continue. And she to is have going the eye to camper. use the eye camper. We could very easily. She had one of these on her Grand Cherokee. We could get one back, but nope. We're going to keep the eye camper. She's going to use it. I may have and to buy extra things. You may have to buy extra things. Now that I know <laughs> what I know. Um, I so, need some of that stuff. Does you, it interchange? You, no. No, because yours, yours doesn't have this C-channel stuff here. Yours has fancy little ring thingies on the bottom because higher quality, but it's easier. If you like it, put a ring on it. There you go. There you go. So, but we are going, this is, we just wanted to walk through the details of these tents. We do love both. They, they are at different price points. They are, um, you know, different quality levels. But we will let you decide, is the eye camper and all the extra quality that it comes with, is it worth adding in everything an extra $1,500 
over what you get in the Global Road Outdoors Sidekick One Tent. I will say, based on my experience with the Global Road, just knowing all that, I don't know that I could make that call. <laughs> nope. you, you're saying you would go this route? Yep. Yep. If you had, so if you had five thousand dollars to spend, just five thousand mm -hmm. dollars, easily could buy either one of them. Mm -hmm. Where'd your money go? It depends. How has my Jeep built? Yeah, I mean, okay. you've just got five thousand extra bucks lying around. Okay. Would you buy the iCamper camper and all the extra goodies, or would you buy this and save some money? I'd buy this so I could spend more money on other things. Okay. Because this is a this is a good tent, and. I know that we've both learned throughout this, you don't have to have the best for it to work and do what you need and to also provide everything you need. Yeah. But if you want the highest quality tent that you can buy in this segment, I think that's the obvious choice. Yeah. I think that's the obvious choice. But, but if you only have- spend more money. Yeah. But if you only have $3,000 laying around, well, you can't buy that one. And this is a great option. So, yeah. <laughs> so let us know in the comments what you think. Is the iCamper worth the premium price? It is definitely premium materials, definitely premium construction. A little bit um, over premium. And some of it over-engineered, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, or, is you know, just tell us what you think in the comments. We would love to know. If you would, like the video, if, if of course you did, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Be sure and hit that little bell icon so you get notified when new content is uploaded. We've got some amazing adventures coming up this year, and you don't want to miss it. And if you want the routes to those amazing adventures, you can follow us along and also help support us through Patreon. Also, we got some merch. Go check out longcreekoverland.com. Find one of Boo coming to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.